oldest living stars, almost 101. It's often said that old is gold. This statement can be extended to these celebs who may be older but are golden nonetheless. Many of these celebrities reigned during Hollywood's golden age and have delivered some of the most memorable and award-winning performances. Take a look at these celebrities and matinee idols of yesteryear who are still capturing the hearts of audiences and fans. George Hamilton In the 1950s, George Hamilton started his acting career. Apart from his performance in television series and films, the actor is recognized for his brown complexion and sophisticated demeanor. He's worked on a variety of projects, including Where the Boys Are, The Man Who Loved Cat Dancing, The Little Unicorn, Once Is Not Enough, and others. Anne Margaret Anne Margaret was one of the most famous actresses of the 1960s. This multi-hyphenate performer is an actor, dancer, singer, and performer. At one point, the actress was hailed as the female version of Elvis Presley. Margaret's been a part of notable projects such as Grumpy Old Men, The Train Robbers, The Cincinnati Kid, and more. The actress has continued to be active on the acting front. In 2021, she was seen in Queen Bees as Margot Clark. Bob Newhart Actor and stand-up comedian Bob Newhart is largely known for his impeccable comic timing and on-point funny expressions. The actor has been part of many interesting projects such as Pot Millions, On a Clear Day You Can See Forever, Insight, Marathon, Little Miss Marker, and others. He also had his own show called The Bob Newhart Show, which ran for almost 142 episodes. Currently, the actor is known for his cameos in shows like Young Sheldon, The Big Bang Theory, and more. Bob Barker After Bob Newhart, we have another Bob on the list. Barker is known for hosting the wildly successful game show, The Price is Right. He hosted the show from 1972 to 2007. In addition to that, Barker successfully hosted another game show titled Truth or Consequences. Barker continued his association with The Price is Right as a producer till 2019. The television personality is also famous for playing himself in many shows and documentaries such as Lorena, Entertainment Tonight, and others. Chubby Checker Chubby Checker is known for popularizing the twist and pony dance styles thanks to his songs The Twist and Pony Time. The talented musician is known for his chart-topping hits from various music genres such as rock and roll and rhythm and blues. Checker's version of The Twist was named as the biggest chart hit by Billboard magazine between the years 1958 and 2008. His last released single was a 2013 number titled Changes. Dick Van Dyke If you're a fan of retro comedies, chances are you must have seen the classic comedy The Dick Van Dyke Show. In addition to being an actor, Dick Van Dyke is also a comedian, writer, singer, and dancer. He even served in the United States military at one point in time. In 2017, Dick Van Dyke released his first solo album, which featured a duet single with actress Jane Lynch. In 2020, he was seen on the television series The Kidding as Hopscotch the Sasquatch. Eva Marie Saint Eva Marie Saint's career has spanned over 75 years. Saint's one of the few surviving stars who have been the earliest winners of the Academy Award. She began her career in 1946 with the NBC television show Campus Hoopla. The actress was 93 at that time. In 2014, the actress starred in the film Winter's Tale. She also voiced a character on the television show The Legend of Korra. In 2018, she made an appearance at the Academy Awards ceremony to present the award for costume design. John Aston. John Aston is a celebrated actor, television director, and voice artist who has appeared in numerous television projects. He's best known for playing Gomez Adams in the classic television show The Adams Family. His portrayal of Gomez helped him to land similar roles in various spin-offs of The Adams Family. Since 2001, Aston has served as the director of the Theater Arts and Studies Department at Johns Hopkins University. The talented actor was last seen in a 2018 project called Starship 2 Rendezvous with Ramses as Professor Peabody. John Voight John Voight's an actor who is largely known for his performance in projects such as Midnight Cowboy, Deliverance, The Rainbow Warrior, The Rainmaker, and more. Voigt is one of Hollywood's most critically acclaimed actors and has won an Academy Award and four Golden Globe Awards. In addition to his memorable film roles, Voigt won a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role on the Showtime television series Ray Donovan. He'll soon be seen in a 2022 drama based on the life of Ronald Reagan. Julie Andrews 
Who can forget iconic images from Sound of Music, made even more iconic by the movie star, Julie Andrews? Andrews has been a part of many impressive projects such as Mary Poppins, Cinderella, The Tamarind Seed, The Man Who Loved Women, Relative Values, and more. Andrews has lent her famous voice to several animated shows such as Shrek and Despicable Me. She's also appeared in Netflix's Bridgerton as the show's narrator, Lady Whistledown. Andrews will soon be heard in The King's Daughter and Minions The Rise of Gru. Marla Gibbs Marla Gibbs is best known for her sassy sense of humor. The legendary actress is known for her iconic role as the maid on the classic CBS sitcom The Jeffersons. The role earned her five Primetime Emmy Award nominations. Gibbs has also appeared in films such as Medea's Witness Protection. In 2020, Gibbs was a part of many television projects such as Scandal, One Day at a Time, Days of Our Lives, and others. She'll be seen in the movie Bromates in 2022. Max Baer Jr. Max Baer Jr. is most noted for his role as Jethro Bodine in the 1962 classic sitcom The Beverly Hillbillies. The actor has also been part of other television shows and films such as Macon County Line and Murder, She Wrote. Following his memorable role as Jethro Bodine, Bear has pursued a career in real estate and property development. Today, Bear is the only surviving member from the regular cast of the Beverly Hillbillies. Mel Brooks Mel Brooks' career has spanned over seven decades. The actor, comedian, film producer, director, and screenwriter is largely known for his movies such as The Producers, Blazing Saddles, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, Young Frankenstein, and more. Brooks is also credited with co-writing the successful television comedy series Get Smart. Brooks is also one of the few actors to have received an Oscar, an Emmy, a Tony, and a Grammy Award. Nancy Sinatra the elder daughter of Frank and Nancy Sinatra, Nancy Sinatra is a singer and actress who's best known for the song These Boots Are Made For Walking." Sinatra started her career in 1967 by appearing on several variety shows. She quickly rose up the ranks of success to become one of the distinguished voices in music history. In 2021, her music was featured in films such as The Chair, Bless the Hearts, Cruella, and more. Paul M. Glazer Paul M. Glazer is an American actor and director who's known for his role of Detective Dave Starsky in the classic television series Starsky and Hutch. Glazer also directed certain episodes of the show in addition to acting on them. He then went on to do other projects such as The Cutting Edge, Miami Vice, Kazam, among others. He also regularly appeared in the hit show Ray Donovan. In 2010, he organized his first artwork exhibition, making his first foray into the art world. Richard Chamberlain Richard Chamberlain is an American actor and singer who has appeared in many television shows and movies such as The Thornbirds, The Born Identity, and more. Chamberlain became immensely popular thanks to his titular role of Dr. Kildare on the medical drama Dr. Kildare. In 2003, he penned his memoir, Shattered Love, a memoir. In 2010, he expressed his interest to make a comeback in the world of showbiz, even putting his Maui home on the market. The actor recently appeared in the 2019 film Finding Julia. Sophia Loren Italian actress Sophia Loren is famous worldwide for her stunning beauty and charm. The actress began her showbiz career at 16, appearing in tiny parts until she bagged a prestigious five-film contract with Paramount Pictures. Loren quickly became an international celebrity and style icon. She's appeared in films such as It Started in Naples, Houseboat, The Pride and the Passion, Sunflower, and The Life Ahead. Lauren was last seen in a 2020 film, The Life Ahead, as Madame Rosa. Tippi Hedren Tippi Hedren is an actress, animal rights activist, and model. The actress gained recognition after starring in Alfred Hitchcock's movies The Birds and Marnie. She even won a Golden Globe Award for the former. Hedren has appeared in many shows and movies, including I Heart Huckabees, Citizen Ruth, a Countess from Hong Kong, and more. In 1983, Hedren started her NGO, the Roar Foundation. She's also involved in many worldwide relief programs. In 2018, at almost 90 years old, Hedren starred in a fashion company campaign for the Gucci brand. Tommy Lee Jones Tommy Lee Jones is an American actor and film director known for his knockout performance in the 1993 film The Fugitive. The actors also starred in other projects such as No Country for Old Men, 
Man of the House, Captain America, The First Avenger, Ad Astra, and others. In 2020, he was seen in the movie The Comeback Trail. Tony Bennett Singer Tony Bennett has many awards and recognition to his credit, one of which includes the prestigious Guinness World Record as the oldest person to release an album featuring new material. The singer is also a talented artist. His paintings have been prominently displayed at several institutions. Bennett is also the founder of the Frank Sinatra School of the Arts in Astoria, New York. Unfortunately, this year, Bennett announced his retirement from the music world due to his declining health. Anthony Hopkins Anthony Hopkins is a film director, actor, and producer who has been the recipient of many awards. In 1993, Hopkins was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for his outstanding contribution to the field of arts. Hopkins has appeared in memorable roles such as serial killer Hannibal Lecter in the film Silence of the Lambs. Hopkins is also known for his roles in films like Legends of the Fall, The Last Knight, Nixon, Amistad, and more. His upcoming releases include films such as The Sun and Armageddon Time. William Daniels William Daniels is an actor who is noted for his performances in movies and shows such as The Graduate, Captain Nice, Two for the Road, and others. Daniels also served as a disc jockey at an army radio station. He formally studied drama prior to entering the world of showbiz and was a part of the Sigma Nu fraternity in his college. In recent years, Daniels has also been part of popular dramas such as Grey's Anatomy. In 2020, he provided the voice of Kit in the movie Super Intelligence. Billy D. Williams Billy D. Williams is a celebrated actor and novelist born in 1937. The actor is best known for his role in the Star Wars franchise and has had the distinction of being the only actor to have played the role for the longest time in the history of the franchise. The actor has also lent his voice to the Lando video games and been part of popular television shows such as General Hospital and Dynasty, as well as others. In 2014, he even participated in the reality show Dancing with the Stars. Kim Novak Kim Novak began her career in 1954 with Columbia Pictures. She soon became one of the biggest A-listers in Hollywood, following a string of box office hits. Some of the movies Novak has starred in included Pal Joey, The Man with the Golden Arm, Kiss Me, Stupid, Strangers When We Meet, and more. Novak's popularity grew further when she starred in Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo in 1991. After a bitter filming experience, she announced her decision to retire from show business. Norman Lear Norman Lear is an American television producer and writer who is known for his appearance in memorable comedies such as Maud, One Day at a Time, The Jeffersons, Good Times, and more. Lear has been associated with more than 100 shows throughout his career. In 2019, he was awarded the Britannia Award for Excellence in Television. Though Lear turned 99 in July of 2021, he hasn't slowed down. He continues to be active on the production and writing front with a variety of projects. Iris Apfel Iris Apfel is considered one of the biggest style icons in recent memory. Apfel, who is now 100, epitomizes living and aging in style. She's a regular face in fashion magazines and is credited for popularizing thick eyeglasses, similar to the ones she's usually seen sporting. Known as the First Lady of Fabric, Apfel has become an important figure in the fashion industry. In September 2021, she collaborated with retailer H&M for a capsule collection designed around her unique and eccentric style. Harry Belafonte Harry Belafonte is an American singer, songwriter, activist, and actor, all rolled into one. Belafonte, who was born in 1927, is credited for popularizing and introducing the Trimbagonian Caribbean musical style to international audiences. Belafonte has also starred in numerous movies, such as Island in the Sun, Carmen Jones, Odds Against Tomorrow, and more. He's also won three Grammy Awards during his career. As an actor, he was last seen in the 2018 production Black Klansman. Rosemary Harris Born in 1927, Rosemary Harris has had an incredible career, starting on the stage all the way back in 1948. The talented British actress has won nine Tony Awards throughout her career for her performances both on and off Broadway. She's also starred in several acclaimed BBC television productions in the UK, but to young and American fans, she's probably most famous for playing the loving Aunt May in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, starring Tobey Maguire as Spidey. Marion Ross Originally born Marion Ross, Marion changed her name when she was 13 
as she felt it would look better on a marquee with the O. She began her acting career in 1953, but her meteoric rise to fame came when she landed the role of Marion Cunningham in the massively popular Happy Days. She's since reprised her role several times, including on Family Guy. She's actually worked as a voice actress on several shows, including SpongeBob SquarePants, Kung Fu Panda, Legends of Awesomeness, and Scooby-Doo, Curse of the Lake Monster, before finally retiring in 2018. Jerry Adler Jerry Adler began his career behind the scenes as a stage manager in the 1950s. He only began his acting career in 1991, but quickly made a name for himself. He's especially famous for his role as Herman Hesh Rabkin in the critically acclaimed series The Sopranos. Amazingly, he's still incredibly active in the industry, acting in the fairly recent productions of The Good Wife, Mozart in the Jungle, and the critics' favorite Driveways, a 2019 film. While he's well known for playing mostly Jewish characters, he's happy to share that he's played a cardinal once in full regalia. James Hong Here's one actor who's impossible to forget. Born in 1929, James Hong has acted in over 600 shows and movies since the 1950s. He's both a dramatic and comedic actor, with one of his breakout roles being as a detective on the new adventures of Charlie Chan. He's also guest starred in quite a few police procedurals. Lee Majors Lee Majors, born Harvey Lee Yeary on April 23, 1939, is an actor from the United States. Majors grew up in Wyandotte, Michigan, and played Heath Barkley in the American television western series The Big Valley from 1965 to 1969. Colonel Steve Austin in the American television science fiction series The Six Million Dollar Man from 1973 to 1978 and Colt Seavers in the American television action series The Fall Guy, 1981 to 1986. Before joining show business in 1963, he worked as a park recreation director for the city of Los Angeles. He rose to prominence on a number of famous television shows, including The Big Valley and The Fall Guy. But it was his portrayal as Steve Austin in The Six Million Dollar Man that propelled him to stardom. Farrah Fawcett Farrah Lenny Fawcett was an American actress. Charlie's Angels' first season made Fawcett famous worldwide. Four Primetime Emmy and six Golden Globe nominations are hers. Fawcett began her career in the 1960s with commercials and guest appearances. She appeared on Harry O from 1974 to 1976 and The Six Million Dollar Man from 1974 to 1978 with her then-husband, film and television actor Lee Majors, who we just talked about. Her red bikini poster sold millions of copies in its first year. Charlie's Angels, starring Kate Jackson and Jacqueline Smith, was Fawcett's breakthrough. The show made all three ladies famous. After the 1976 first season, Fawcett left Charlie's Angels. She guest starred in six episodes in the third and fourth seasons in 1978 and 1980. Charlie's Angels earned Fawcett her first Golden Globe nomination. 